Right, back with another video. Now this is a continuation of my last video. For those of you who watched it, a mysterious fault code on the Carista is picking up on my car, which is this here. Fuel filler flap, fuel filler flap activation short circuit to ground. So in the last video I did on this, the fuel flap was still locking and unlocking now it has given up altogether so let's just jump out the car if i lock my car now just car's locked fuel filler flap is opening not locking unlock lock so what i'm going to do first i have got a replacement lock for this but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to test to make sure there is electricity getting to this switch so we're going to get that screw out take the door off and then we'll go from there so to get this fuel flap get to the uh, motor it's a T20 screw here <clears throat> so that comes out don't lose the screw fuel cap off then this hopefully will just pop out one handed yep so that then comes out this just slides out and then what I'm going to do is put multimeter here and here lock and unlock and see if the multimeter fires up with a voltage and just get these pins plugged in Right, so multimeter's plugged in. One there, one there. Just keep an eye on this. Just lock the car. Unlock the car. So we're getting voltage to the switch. It's just not working. This is still, when is the car? Right, that's locked. And this still isn't. Still isn't working. So we need to switch this over. So we just nip into the car and get the new one and have a look at that. Right, so this is the old one, part number 7P08107737D. Now, I couldn't get a hold of one of these when I went to the auto spares. They were searching for D. They no longer make these anymore. It's now F on the end. And I'd also said that these didn't have an emergency release. But upon receiving this new one now you want to shop around because I picked this up for nine quid on eBay um, I've just had a quick look on some websites like I say from Volkswagen if they could get it it was over 40 pounds um, the car parts place that I went to said it was 25 pounds I've just done a quick search there's a company some Skoda company that are selling them 50 pounds plus 795 postage and they're all going to be exactly the same now this one comes with this red release cable so this here there is a release there is a manual release it's this here it doesn't click or anything it just slides across to manually release it so the only difference between these two you put them side by side they are pretty much identical apart from this red strap that's here no part number on there but we've got this number up here which if we look on this one the numbers there where else did I see a number this one here F30 have a look on this one it's exactly it is exactly the same part just hasn't got the Volkswagen stuff etched into it. So we'll plug this in and test it, and then we'll fire up Carista, see if we can clear that code, and it is gone for good. So let's just go back round. Now I'm just gonna need two hands for this. Oh, I've got my finger in the way, two hands for this to plug it back in. Right, so I've put that back in, push that in, I've got to put that screw back in, and then round here, I've now got this emergency release 
hanging. Oh, it was hanging. It is up in there. It's just decided it wanted to shoot off a bit. We've got somewhere we can clip that onto. So we're not going to lose it again. That clip onto there. Right. Clip that onto there. So we now have got an emergency release, although from what I've found, they lock. When they fail, they fail not to lock rather than not to unlock. Just drop the screw. Pop that back in there. That's all in, that could do a cleaning out in there really, it's a bit grubby. Fuel cap. Right, keys are in my pocket. Lock the car. Locked. Unlock the car. Unlocking. Just try again. I can hear it. I can hear it firing across in there. Right, let's fire up Carista and see if the fault code has disappeared. Now, I don't think the fault code will go away straight away. I'm going to have to reset it, cycle the ignition and see what happens. So, uh, let's just connect this to the car. Let that load up a moment. Right, so diagnose. Don't forget, there'll be two faults. Definitely, because I've changed the head unit. And then one other. So there's one canvas gateway. Yep, change the head unit. Two, that will be, and we've got the third. So we've got one for canvas, one for instrument cluster. Again, because I changed the radio. And then down here, central electronics. So we will reset that code. Now displaying to. I'm going to turn the ignition off, lock the car, unlock the car, fire this back up and see if it's gone because before if you remember in the other video it was coming straight back after I set the ignition back on. All right let's just fire this again. Oh, no internet, I have to wait a moment. There we go, connecting. So I've locked, locked the car, unlocked the car, diagnose, Ba -dum -bum -bum. One, one, two, uh, 24 ECUs done, two, and that's it, the code has gone. So that's it, the fault is fixed, it's now gone. Now how many people are going to watch this video and go out and check to see if their fuel cap is working on their car? It's not that you just go, oh, lock my car, walk away, unlock my car, put fuel in. You don't check that it's there. And without Carista, I wouldn't have known the fault was there. It'd be interesting to see if other diagnostic tools, topped on, etc., would pick up such a small fault. Um, so yeah, that's fixed. It cost me nine pounds off of off of eBay. Um, but let's have a look. What's inside? one of these switches now i've got it here i'm holding it together very well sealed i've had to properly hack it up to get it apart and if we just pop this lid off that is what we've got inside it's just a little motor with just get that out of the way little motor which is obviously what has failed is there's a short circuit in there and then something here what's this is that the release i'll take this part a bit more just so we can have a look what's in there just a second yeah it's just a little little mechanism that motor you lock the car it pushes that up there this would then fire into that slot there and then that's locked and then you 
send electricity to the switch that pulls that back obviously there should be a spring in this that pushes down and then that unlocks so yeah pretty basic well say basic it's the motor isn't it that's uh the part that's failed so if you've got an issue with your fuel flap double check your part numbers first before you go ahead and order the same as i've ordered because from my experience from what i've been looking at these are for volkswagen golfs uh, volkswagens seats and skodas from 2013 um older models mark 5 mark 6s it's a different lock module um, but it's the same process it's one screw holding it in place take it out put it back in and replace it um, I'll leave links in the description below and I'll see you all in the next video like subscribe share thank you very much